Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good. Good to see you again. So Adnan has a disease called neurofibromatosis. In this disease, one develops tumors that grow off multiple nerves anywhere in the body, the brain, the spine, the nerves that travel through the arms and legs. And on four separate occasions, one of these tumors became so bad that they caused a loss of function. The first time we uh, saw Dr. Baskin was in 1993. Uh, that's when I had the, the large tumor in my spinal cord. Uh, several years after that, my, I think we had another tumor that was in my right leg. That was removed successfully as well with no real problems at all. Uh, and a couple of years after that again, uh, with my condition, I uh, had another one in my right arm. That was also uh, moved without any problems at all. Just recently, he developed a tumor in his thoracic spine, the area between the neck and the low back. The tumor was pressing against the spinal cord and the nerve going out to his chest, so bad that he had a searing pain radiating around his chest to the point where he couldn't wear clothes, he couldn't touch the skin, again, unable to work. We were able to go in, dissect the tumor away from the spinal cord, away from the nerve, take the tumor out, cure the pain. So here's a man who has a very, very scary condition, but because of the technology that's available, we can operate again and again and again and get a good result every time. All right. Right. That one looks like a blemish. Yeah, absolutely. At this point. Whenever you think of surgery, especially spinal surgery, you, you know, the first thing that comes to your mind is, am I going to be okay? Is everything going to be all right? And, uh, you know, fortunately, every time we've, we've come to Dr. Baskin, we've always had results that were, were, were stellar. Uh, right after surgery, pain is pretty much gone. There's, there's really no, no need to be afraid. So we can keep this man functioning. I've kept him functioning for 21 years. I have the result, and it says no residual enhancing tumor identified. Good. That's always a good thing. Which is good. Yes. With Dr. Baskin, you know, his, his knowledge of neurosurgery, his compassion, his caring, uh, his taking time to actually sit down, talk to you, explain everything that you will go through. Uh, and, uh, you know, Dr. Baskin is almost like family over, over a period of, of 20 some odd years we've been seeing Dr. Baskin every time. So he's uh, basically a part of our family. I think the other thing that's important to learn from Adnan is the kind of personal relationships that we develop with patients here at the Peak Center. We take our jobs very seriously, but we take our relationship with our patients very personally. They mean something to us, we care about them, we really go beyond the usual to become very much involved with who they are, what they are, and helping to be as good as they can be. Methodist Hospital is as caring as Dr. Baskin is. They're very attentive. Uh, they're the there when you need very... it. The nurses, anytime you call them, they were there uh, at a, at they a were moment. Very helpful. Extremely and... helpful. It was it was really a pleasure to be here at, at Methodist Hospital. The Peak Center combines a variety of different things together to lead to the best outcome for a patient like Adnan. We get the family involved. We look at the whole big picture. We're concerned about their work status, their family status, their home status. And I think there's no place anywhere in the country that combines all this together like we have here at the Peak Center.